Hey everybody, we're here at 804 Mariner Cove, Eaton, Ohio at Lake Lock and Grin, getting ready to put an absolutely fantastic two-story on the market. Over 400 foot of lakefront shoreline. Uh, we've got lots and lots of updates here to talk about when we go inside. Uh, out back, uh, we got a brand new dock that's all been redone and a brand new boat house down there. We'll take a look at that when we get there. There's just so much to talk about. Dimensional shingle roof, high-end Pella windows here. Uh, got some cultured stone on the house and then also vinyl siding. Might as well get started here and I do want to show you that porch when we walk up. Uh, down here, of course, you can see it might be a little shadowy. That's our two-car garage that's underneath. Let's go take a look at the porch. So the front porch here at 804 Mariner Cove at Lake Lock and Grin in Eaton, Ohio, really nice. Actually wraps around. That's looking back out towards the street. And it does come around to the side here. I don't want to go too fast. There's a door on the right there that I'll show you when we get inside that comes out of the laundry room. So again, I don't want to bore you with the porch, but I love it out here. It goes all the way around the house here. And if we're facing the house, this would be the right-hand side. And also checks all the way back to here covered. Whoop. Saw myself in the window. Now we got to go in. This is what's going to take a while because there's been so many upgrades here. Okay, stepping inside here at 804 Mariner Cove, Lake Lock and Green, Eaton, Ohio. I did not mention outside. We're looking at 2684 square foot here. Uh, we've got a two-story home, of course, attached two-car garage underneath. Uh, forgive the blurb in the video there. Somebody actually came and knocked on the door. Uh, we're back at it now. Again, 804 Mariner Cove, 2684 square foot. Uh, we've got four beds here. Uh, on the first floor, we've got a full bath. We also have a half bath. The second floor, we've got a full bath. And in the basement, the newly refinished area also provides a half bath down there. So when you walk in, you'll see this setup is fantastic. Great room type setup, vaulted ceilings. And I gotta slow myself down here because I wanna just point out the uh, new top of the line luxury vinyl flooring, all new cabinets, countertops, appliances. There's just a lot to take in. Got a dining room area over to the left here. Uh, the walkout deck on the back that's covered that was added. We'll step out there in a minute. Probably my favorite part of, my of the house, one of my favorite parts. Gas fireplace. And then those are the stairs, of course, to the second story. And right over there is where we came in. Just lots of natural light in this house. It, it's crazy how much light's in here. I do have lights flipped on, but even without them, it's bright. So I'm gonna kind of backtrack us back to the front door here. So when you come in, of course, up, we'll start our tour down here, the first room on the right. This is bedroom number one of four. Again, just incredible amount of natural light in this house. All new carpet and all new fresh paint. I just, like I said, there's so much here to talk about. And if you guys will notice as I'm walking around, uh, we do have a lot of oversized new farmhouse trim, which is just a great touch that adds to the house. So facing the house on the right hand side, we just saw the front bedroom. Uh, back right side of the house, this will be the master. Again, big, big rooms. And off of the master here, as I set my notes down, of course, huge walk-in closet off the master. And then this is probably one of my other favorite parts of the house. Check out this master suite. All new tile, counter, cabinets, just a complete redo. Huge walk-in shower. And absolutely beautiful tile work. Top of the line for sure. So back out of the master bath. There's my notes, I'll grab those. And again, a lot of these rooms provide, I don't know if you can see or not, but looking outside and right down to the dock where we'll go out later. The covered patio I was talking about, the new addition, there's also a door that comes right off the master out onto that deck, which is super cool. So I'm gonna walk you back through here. Uh, this door is gonna be our basement where we head to later. 
But I did want to step out here real quick and show you this because this is pretty cool. So off the main great room, we're going to step straight outside. And again, this is all brand new. A lot of custom work here. Ceiling fan outside. There's the door we were just talking about that goes to the master. And then I'll step out here and get us in the sun a little bit, which looks down to the lower level patio where we'll end up. And again, boathouse and dock down there. Ballmers are a little loud today, it's windy. And this goes back into the house. I'll meet you upstairs. So here we are upstairs. I didn't quite make it all the way because I really wanted to show you how nice it is looking down on everything. Back down into the living room, the great room in the kitchen. And then pan back down the steps to the front door where we came in. So now we're up. And this is all the right hand side of the house if you're facing it. In the hallway, we got a centralized full bath. And then in the front of the house, again, fantastic size rooms, vaulted ceilings, fresh fixtures, all new paint and carpet. And right hand side of the house, all the way in the back, above the master, is another bedroom. They just keep coming. So this would be bedroom four. So let's head downstairs and take a look at the walkout basement area that's been finished also. So here we are in the lower level of 804 Mariner Cove at Lake Lock and Grin. This is the newly refinished area that adds close to 400 square foot to the overall square footage of the house. Over to my left here are the steps I came down and that door goes to the garage. And I didn't really hit on the garage as much as I wanted to. Of course it is a two car, but it's actually oversized and 30 foot deep. So got the depth there for boat, whatever. There's plenty of room in there. Just about get cars nose to tail, four of them if they're small enough. But he did a really nice job down here. The owner did. Again, all new finishes, new vinyl flooring. The door ahead of us where the light's coming in there goes out to the lower patio. On the right here's our mechanical room. Wet bar down here. And behind me was our half bath that was added. Some really, really nice touches down here. Plenty of area down here if you wanted another family room. Kind of the way it's set up right now, his vision was a media room down here, thus the nook. So just lots of potential, whatever your imagination can come up with. I think I'll go ahead and keep rolling here while we walk outside. So now we're down on the lower level, looking down towards the lake again. And I'll walk out to the corner here. And just a good shot of the back of the house. These are our bedrooms there. There's the new covered deck, the ceiling fan. And the current owner did add this bar down here and actually let me get out of the sun so you can see it the uh, wood that was used was from a cherry tree here on the property that was on its last leg so it was actually harvested cured and used to make the bar super cool touch the other six foot door we're going to look at over here actually goes directly into the back of the garage and all new concrete patio here too and retaining wall Owner's done a lot with the land, all of the dead ash trees, everything's been removed, everything's the final grade. And of course the new dock, all the wood replaced and refurbished boathouse. And uh, sounds like the neighbor's running as a weed eater, so I'll go down there and try and show you that real quick, but maybe kind of noisy. Okay, made it to the dock here on 804 Mariner Cove. Like I said, I'm fighting the neighbor's buzzsaw. He's Keeps his house really nice too, he's cleaning up. There's the boathouse. Here are the steps that I just came down. Got a nice dock here. Shoreline's all been rip-wrapped and improved. And then a shot back up towards the house. Again, sorry for the noise. So once again, 804 Mariner Cove, here at Lake Lock and Granite, Eaton, Ohio. 
2,684 square foot, two story, attached two car garage, oversized actually. Four beds, we've got a full bath and a half bath on the first floor, a full on the second, and a half bath in the basement. Everything's pretty much brand new in here. And everybody totes move in ready, but this one really is. Ready for summer fun. Thanks for taking the time to walk the house with me. I hope you have a great day.